Hello everyone and welcome to the Shrimpy channel. In this video we're going to continue our series on how to build a crypto trading bot. This video is going to focus on connecting to exchange WebSockets in order to access real-time ticker data. Let's get started by installing the Shrimpy Python library. As you can see, I've already installed the library, so we can get started building our Python script. The first thing we're going to want to do is import the Shrimpy library. Once it has been imported, we're going to need to create the Shrimpy WebSocket client. So this client is going to manage the connection to the Shrimpy servers, which in turn will manage the exchange WebSockets, and that will allow us to collect data from these different exchanges. So once we've created the client, the next thing we're going to have to do is create a handler which will handle the messages which are returned through the WebSocket. So since we're just building a simple ticker, all this handler is going to do is access the message content, save it to a ticker, and then print that ticker out. That will look something like this. So as you can see, all this handler does is it takes the message that was received through the WebSocket, it accesses the price data, and then prints it as the ticker. In order to start accessing data, one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tell Shrimpy what data we want. This is done through a subscription. And the subscription holds things like which exchange you want to connect to, which trading pair you want to connect to, and also which channel. So there are a number of different channels. One of them is trade data. There's also order book data. There's also BBO data, which is the best bid and ask data. So each of these uh, data streams provides different information. In this tutorial, we're going to want to do the trade data stream. Let's create our subscribe data object here. And then all we have to do is connect. Connecting is done by calling uh, client.connect. And then you subscribe by passing in the subscribe data and the handlers. So as you can see, data is now streaming directly from the exchange we input right into our terminal right here. So you can see the price of the Bitcoin USDT pair is currently around 8,131 USDT. Awesome. So now you might be wondering, how do we disconnect? So how do we get rid of this stream? All you have to do is call client.disconnect. So we could do that now, client.disconnect, and boom, we're done. So if you wanted to subscribe to a different WebSocket stream, then all you would have to do is select a different exchange or select a different pair, and then instantly you could access that data through the WebSocket. That's all I have for this tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.